crown wait crown cakes that's it crown cakes that's what we get right okay items but like that that's nothing that's like it's just the toolbox and flashlights are usually the yellow version of flashlights and yellow version of toolboxes so it's like it's just again we're getting offerings and crowns that's it charms you mean like the same they have like freaking billions of charms already in the game like we don't no i don't know i don't know guys i don't know no one wants more charms they have way too many charms already how long have charms been out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve pages of charms already and charms they, it hasn't been out there for that long i don't know guys i i, I actually miss the old events like winter stuff um christmas they had like really fun themes lunar events halloween it was way more fun before it was more exciting um what else does it say okay hold on let's read um all right Dead by Daylight is celebrating its 5th birthday and the party just wouldn't be the same without you. Check out our 5th anniversary event trailer below. The read on for details on everything you can expect when you log in to celebrate with us from June 30th to Jul July 15th. New year, new anniversary crown. Anniversary crowns are back in Dead by Daylight and they're better than ever. Our new more interact in intricate, intricate uh, crowns can be claimed by any original killer or survivor. But you've got to find them first. Special crown uh, pedestals will spawn inside of every trial. Discover and interact with them to gain a golden glow which will stay with you for the rest of the match. Go on to escape the trial as a survivor or simply complete the trial as a killer and the celeb... celeb... Ce celeb... <laughs> we... Ce celebratory cosmetic is your keep. Community challenges. Dead by Daylight is all about community and once again we are giving our fans the chance to team up to earn exclusive outfits. During our 15th anniversary event, anniversary crowns will be tracked at a community level with multiple shared goals. Collectively meet these goals to unlock exclusive charms and cosmetics, including outfits for David King and the Wraith. All details, updates and codes will be shared through our Twitter and Facebook pages. So follow Dead by Daylight and never miss a beat. And then we have pictures of David, Wraith, yes. Decked out trials. It wouldn't be a Dead by Daylight anniversary if we didn't deck out the entities realm to mark the occasion. From custom loading screens to the return of confetti, launching flashlights, medkits, and toolboxes to environmental flourishes for generators. Hooks, lockers, and barrels. Playing during the event will feel anything but ordinary. Shrine of Seek. Oh, nice. Okay, they've actually. Okay, they've reduced its prices. Uh, our fifth anniversary is also the perfect opportunity to not only get your hands on some perks, but to get a great deal in the process. For the duration of the event, the Shrine of Secrets will be on a daily rotation and feature perks from almost every single character in Dead by Daylight. Plus, every perk will be 500 iridescent shards off. Got a lot of iridescent shards burning a hole in your pocket. Take advantage while you can. This is the moment, this is the time I wish I had a lot of iridescent shards because I don't save mine and I don't really expect them to like do these things, you know? So people who already have a lot of iridescent shards saved up and people who already have all of the perks, they are getting 600k blood points every day for the entire, you know, for the entire, um, what's it called? Event. So... Not fair. <laughs> uh, okay, I shouldn't say not fair, but like at the same time, it's, it's I guess it's a little bit frustrating because uh, I've been struggling a lot with uh, with my grind. 
Uh, giveaways. As a thank you for celebrating with us by playing Dead by Daylight, over the first seven days of the event, we'll be giving away a total of 9,000 iridescent shards per player just for logging in. Players logging in later in the event will still be able to claim earlier login rewards, so no one misses out. These will add up to enough to purchase an entire original character on us. Finally, when you first log in during the event, you'll receive a 500,000 blood points gift. So you'll be able to quickly gain access to the new event items in your blood webs. Uh, see you in the fog, the Dead by Daylight team. I did not get any 500, uh, 500k BP. I did not get that. I got my iridescent shards for this day, but I did not get any bonus blood points. So maybe I should just like restart my game and see if I get it. But I don't know. I have to say that I'm not really. I'm not. I'm still like not pleased. Don't mind not <laughs> sleeping there. But like, yeah. Again, I'm not. I'm not really like. Uh, I'm not happy. I'm not. Ex I don't know. I'm not angry. I'm not mad or anything like that. But I am disappointed in in this event. Like, it's. I was expecting something more with the. I don't know. There's a big shitstorm going on with the dead by. Uh, boycott so um i don't know i was hoping there's a lot of people talking and a lot of like you know there's a big storm big storm shit storm whatever you want to call it's going on and uh nothing has been addressed so if they added a 2x or even 1.5x they, they should stop they should stop you know like being cheapskates with blood points. Blood points, it doesn't affect them. They're not giving away money. They're not... There we go. Okay, I got my blood points. They're, they're not losing anything. They're not losing... Blood points is an in-game currency which you earn by playing the game. It's, it has no money. Like, there, there's no value in it. But I don't understand why it's difficult for them to be like, Oh, hey, uh, we want to, you know, like... We're getting giving you the double BP event. Especially with... I don't know, there's like between two to six hundred or something insane amount of perks in total when it comes to like each rank. Because there's rank one, rank two, rank three. On both killer and survivor sides. So it's weird that the mobile DBD, obviously it's a different game, but it's weird that even they are getting way many more like double BP events than us. So I don't think it's nice or fair or yeah. You have people like me. <laughs> I'm sweating, okay? I'm sweating. I have P3'd everything. Not Nemesis. Like, I'm, I'm Nemesis is P2 at the moment. I've, I'm waiting with him. I'm trying to catch up with every other... Like, uh, hold on. I can do this. I'm trying to catch up with every other killer. Uh, I have caught up with... Oni. I have Oni's perks. And then I'm missing Deathslinger, Executioner, Blight, Twins, and Trickster. Once I have these uh, uh, the Nemesis perks on uh, on these uh, killers, then I can start working on the on the Nemesis. But then when I go to the survivors, uh, I have I have P3 those as well, all of them. I have P3 all of my survivors as well, except for the new ones because obviously I need to catch up. But now I have to catch up with everyone else. Three perks from Jill, three perks from Leon. That's a lot. So it's like people like me, and I stream this game. I play this game a lot, okay? And I have to be honest, I have been, compared to other content creators, I do slack because I kind of, I stream half the time, uh, mostly. I, I stream half the time they do. So most people, most DVD content creators, honestly, they're probably streaming more than five, six, seven, eight hours sometimes even. Even those people haven't caught up. Even those people don't have everything. So it's like... People have, that put so much effort into the game and they're not even able to catch up. Where does that leave casual players? Like, people like you. It's like, where does that leave you? So it's like... Yeah, I don't know. 